Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll draw this sum. First we will draw one vertical line and horizontal line. See. We'll mark point 1 that is point O. See, this is point O. And this is point P. So O to P is 89 and O to Q is 11. So first we will mark 11 and 89 and we will mark O, Q and P. After that diameter 45, so I will take radius 22.5 and from point O And from point Q, you draw 45. Then from point P, you draw again 22.5 then this is tangent so we can draw tangent to the circle like this and th this is also tangent from point P. So we can draw tangent like this. After that radius 8. So what we need to do from point P we need to cut 45 divided by 2 because it is diameter right plus 8. That is 30.8. and you draw 8mm parallel line so you draw parallel line like this wherever they intersect the radius 30.8 and parallel line 8 from that point we can draw radius 8 why it is like this because 8 is an external radius which is touching diameter and that tangent line now we'll take radius 11.5 and we'll draw that inside circle also which is diameter 23 After that, we will darken this. See, from here it is 23, from here both the points it is 23, 23. Let's say this is R and S. So for point R, we need to go 23 from here, from the inner circle. And from the outer circle again you take 23. See this. Inner circle and this is outer circle. So take R to 20 R. From point R you can draw radius 23. And from point S you can draw radius 23. Then we need to draw radius 4. Let's say that is point T. So for point T, this is internal to radius 23. See this. So from R you cut 23 minus 4. And from S you cut 23 plus 4 because it is external. 
so it is internal external both so from r we need to cut 19 and from point s you need to cut 27 wherever it will cut from that point we can draw radius 4 now we can darken all this arc radius 23 we can take it from S and R From O, we'll draw this circle, the radius 22.5 and from Q, we'll draw radius 45. We can draw axis line. This is dotted, so we can draw it like this. We can show dimension. In exam, you need to read the question. Generally, they say draw any four dimensions, or at times they say do not insert any dimensions. So do it accordingly and if they don't mention anything that time you have to do all the dimensions. So you need to read the instruction well. Thank you.